Anonymous has a situation that they would like your input on. Uh, my spouse refuses to have sexual relations. It's been about two years. And also, they refuse to go to counseling. Do you think that this qualifies as a reason to get divorced? Or should I persevere in a marriage that has no physical intimacy? Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm sorry, Anonymous, uh, for the situation. The, the thing you always got to ask, almost, almost always the things we shoot that are not the causes, but they're symptoms. And so what I'm wondering is why does your wife not want to have sex with you? Um, and, I mean, that suggests something is fundamentally off. I, if I was their counselor, I want to know, what did you, it seems like you used to have sex. Was it enjoyable? And then something happened? It stopped it? Or was it always just painful for it? Is there a physical underlying issue? And most importantly, it's like, what is your relationship together? It takes sex out of it. How are you guys relating? Um, and it, it, the thing is, the goal of every marriage, at least for, for Christians, you want a marriage, the ideal is that your love is going to mirror the love of the triune God. Um, now, we, none of us are going to have a marriage that does that perfectly, but are you at least moving in that direction? And is there a semblance of life there? Is there a semblance, a, a, however faint, a reflection of the triune God? And is there hope for it improving? If there's any signs of life and any hope in the marriage, I encourage people to stay in there because um, you can make it work. If, if you have hope, for being better and some signs of life, it's not dead, then go for it. My worry would be that uh, the, my, my concern is not so much about the sex, though going two years without sex is not ideal, but people have, have suffered worse. But it's why she doesn't want to. And, and it, it, what does it say about your relationship? Um, I, I would be worried that it's a symptom of a more fundamental hardening to you. Now, if, if, if you have a person... Let's suppose the worst case scenario. She's completely lost interest in her husband. That happens sometimes. Is there, is, is there any hope for that? Well, if, if, if a person is completely lost hope and they don't want to change, if the, if the prospect of the future is signing up for not only a sexless marriage, but for a loveless marriage, a, a marriage that won't look anything like the love and the joy of the triune God, not even a pale reflection, uh, then, then you really don't have a marriage. Uh, you've got a, uh, a failed commitment. Uh, the goal of the commitment is to produce this sort of reality, the reality of a marriage that is worth being in. And, and, and it can be a marriage without sex. I, I, you know, I, I know a couple where, uh, in fact, I know a couple of couples where they can't have sex. One of the partners is physically unable to, um, but they still have, can have a great marriage um, because they love each other and they're you know, involved in each other's lives and all of that. So the question, it's not about the sex, it's a question about the heart and the relationship, and is there any hope? It concerns me that she doesn't want to go to a counselor. Um, that, that's, that, that's really concerning. But there, I want to know why. Is she afraid? Is, what's the hesitation there? And, and what, how, does she want to live in this loveless marriage? If it is, in fact, a loveless marriage. I, it, there's all those questions. So there's no definitive answer there. Yeah. I, I would say, though, that if, 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 if the person is thinking about getting out of the marriage on the basis of the sex, it tells me that uh, this is in, very, in, in deep trouble uh, from both ends. Yeah. Um, and, and that, that if the person probably doesn't have hope that there, if the person's ever going to willing to change. Even there, though, I encourage them to go very slowly. Give your wife a chance. Try to find an ember, a spark, something you used to do. Try to ignite this thing. Blow on it. Fan it very carefully. Don't give up on this thing easily, even if she's recalcitrant. I would never say you're condemned for the rest of your life to be in a loveless and sexless marriage uh, that doesn't look anything is this dead. I, I don't think that's not, that's not glorifying God. But don't give up hope on becoming something alive and, yeah. and keep on exploring that. Maybe if you share your heart, it, it, come, it out, come, in, come in low rather than big. Instead of like, you must go to a counselor. I deserve sex. Rather, I, you know, don't you want us to be happy together? And this could maybe, you know, help, helping yeah. that about. Yeah, I, I agree that, uh, yeah, and I, I agree. The, the bigger issue is the uh, unwillingness to explore options. That's, that concerns me more than just the no sex. Uh, because yeah. if, if, if they're not, if, if they're not um, willing to explore options, then that means that they 
don't care about the complaint. They don't care about the issue or it could mean that. And so that, that's a bigger red flag to me than the. Either like, that or they do care about their terrified of therapists. The and shame. It, well, and there's somebody, also shame involved. They might have something sure. that they're ashamed of and, and that's very uncomfortable. So, so my, my bottom line would just be, uh, I, 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 I wouldn't say you're condemned for life to be, don't accept this as it is, but don't bail on it too quickly either. Try to make it into something that God would, that would be, Fulfilling for both of you and would honor God.